Today let's take a company accounts and uh, the first topic here is accounting for share capital. Now I'll start with um, issue of shares. the practical aspects relating to the issue of shares. Now shares can be issued either for cash, issue of shares for cash or for some other consideration, right? But we will now look at the first case which is issue of shares for cash. Whenever shares are issued Shares can be, I mean, uh, I mean the uh, money for the shares can be paid in lump sum or in installments. So when the share money is paid in lump sum, the whole money is received in one installment. Generally, the cases that we have is when the shares are issued, and the shares are payable in installments, not in lump sum, right? So let's now look at that. Uh, whenever the shares are paid, uh, the share money, that is uh, the value of the share is uh, paid in installment. There are generally four installments or maybe three, right? The first one is application money, allotment money, share first call and share second and final call. Right? These are the four installments that we have. Supposing the value for a share is, uh, like let's say, supposing a company issues 10,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, of rupees 10 each, payable as rupees 3 on application, rupees 2 on allotment and the balance in the first and final call. Now look at this here. Here we have given the value of the share is how much? 10 rupees, right? The application money is rupees 3. Allotment money is rupees 5 and here there is no second call, there is only the first call. The first call itself is the final call. So the balance is rupees 5. So 5 is called for in the first and final call, right? So now here you have got 3 installments in which the share money is asked for. So whenever someone is applying for the share, they will give only the application money. When the allotment money becomes due, at that point the allotment money will be paid. Right? And when the company calls for the share first call, in that case the first call money will be paid. Now the important thing here is the journal entries for these uh, Journal entries as in when we receive the money or when the money becomes due, right? So the first thing that you see here is bank account debit to share application account. Now this is on the receipt of or you can write being money received on application of shares, right? So in our earlier case, 
like I said, 10,000 shares have been issued and rupees 3 on application means this will be 10,000 into 3 that is 30,000 rupees. Right? Okay. Now after that, when the shares are allotted, once the applications are received, after that the shares are allotted. When the shares are allotted, the share application money is transferred to the share capital account. So share application debit to share capital account. This 30,000 is transferred to the share capital. Okay? Fine. Now this is your, this is basically... Shares allotted and application money transferred to share capital account, right? After that, the allotment money, right? Now, the allotment money is how much? Rupees 2. The number of shares is 10,000. So, now here you have... First of all, the allotment money will become due and then the shareholders will pay for that. So, the shareholders will be intimated that the allotment money has become due. Now, whenever the allotment money becomes due, the entry is share allotment account debit to share capital account. Right? Here it is 20,000. 10,000 into 2. So, this is... being the share allotment money becoming due, right? After that, the receipt of the money. So, when we receive the share allotment money, that installment, we say bank account debit to share allotment account. So, the whole whole money is received means 20,000 here, 20,000 here, right? Okay. This is on receipt of allotment money. Now, the same way, when the first call money becomes due, this will be, in our case, it is share first and final call account debit, right? To share, uh, sorry. Yeah, to share capital account, the balance, the question said, and the balance in the first and final call. So, the balance is how much? This is 3 plus 2, 5. So, 5 rupees is the balance. So, 5 rupees is called for in the first and final call. So, this becomes 5 into 10,000. So, that is 50,000. Right? So, here you will write, Share first and final call money becoming due like this, right? Now, on the application of that money, you will have bank account debit to share first and final call account, which is 50,000, right? Now, in this question, we have only the first and final call. If at all you had the second call, then that will also come, right? The same way, for the, um, if, if, if there had been a second call, right, it would have been something like this, shared, second, second call will always be the final call, they won't have more than two calls, right? Share second and final call account, to share capital, this is for the money becoming due, right? And when you receive the money, you will write bank account debit to share second and final call. Like this. Right? These are the journal entries which we record for the issue of shares for all the installments I have shown. This is on the receipt of share second and final call money. Understood? So, this is how we make the journal entries.
for all the installments. Now I'll take up one more example, small example here. Let's say Ajit and Sons, Ajit and Company Limited, right? Uh, invited applications for 25,000 shares of the value of rupees 10 each, right? The amount is payable as rupees uh, 3 on application, rupees 4 on allotment and the balance on the first and final call, right? The issue was fully subscribed and cash was duly received on all the shares, right? You have to give the journal entries for the above transaction, right? Okay, now let's see. This is 25,000 shares and uh, the application money is rupees 3. So the first entry will be bank account debit to share application account, right? So that's basically how much? 25,000 into 3. That comes to 75,000 rupees. This is on the receipt of the share application money. Being share application money received, right? Okay, after that, this money is transferred to the share capital account, share application account debit to share capital account. This is the second entry you have. This 75,000 is transferred there to share capital on the allotment of shares, right? So this transferring is done when the shares are actually allotted. Being the share application money transferred to share capital on allotment of shares, right? After that, the allotment money becomes due. When the allotment money becomes due, you will write share allotment account debit to share capital account. Now that is 25,000 shares. And the allotment money is rupees 4. So that is 25,000 into 4 which is 1 lakh. Which is 1 lakh. So here you have the narration will be allotment money becoming due. Right. The receipt of the allotment money. So that is bank account debit. To share allotment, right? That is how much? 1 lakh, fine. And then you have the final call, share first and final call becoming due. Share first and final call account debit to share capital account. Now, you had the application money as 3, allotment money as 4. So, 3 plus 4 is 7. The balance is rupees 3, right? So, 25,000 into 3 here is 75,000 again, right? And this is 75,000. This is the first and final call money becoming due, right? Becoming due. After that, you have bank account debit to share first and final call account which is 75,000 right so this way this is the receipt of the money on the share first and final call so this way this question will be solved the journal entries will be given receipt of first and final call money so this is a simple uh, question on issue of share capital where 
all the shares have been subscribed for and all the money has been received on the shares so in our next session we will be taking up more topics on this uh, accounting of share capital so for uh, today i'll end the session here bye